This thing seriously feels like like a football. Like I could I could hurl it. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Friday Fuel, and today I'm going to cook a little recipe. I'm going to stuff an acorn squash full of really beautiful things. Um, I had a little bit of time today to actually cook dinner. Now don't get me wrong, it's not going to be anything complicated, but I just got some time to not make something that was already meal prep food. So I'm going to whip up this little dish, and I'll show you how easy it can be to eat healthy and nutritious and delicious meals in a short amount of time. So, let's get cooking. All of those guys are gonna be stuffed into this acorn squash. Um, we're gonna split it in half. Um, we're gonna cut it open, kind of carve out the middle there with all the seeds and stuff all these pretties in there. And then spices, you know, I have my olive oil that I keep preaching about and then this ghetto looking thing, it's sticky. My husband's spice thing that everyone loves now. Thank you so much for complimenting him. It has salt, pepper, garlic powder, paprika. Y'all know the deal. So first things first, I need a split. It feels like a football. It seriously feels like, like a football. Like I, could, I could hurl it. First things first, I need to split this guy up. Um, I'm going to cut it in half and then I'm going to scoop out all the insides. You know, all that stuff whenever we carve pumpkins that you have to take out. We're doing the same thing here. All the innards. And then we are going to put olive oil on it, put it on the pan, and then we will put them each half down, facing downwards on the pan. That way the top will burn um, and it'll start to steam away on the pan when we put it in the oven. Now in the oven, um, we are setting it to 375 and we are going to let it roast for about 25 to 30 minutes. We'll check on it and we'll tap it with a fork and stuff and see where it's at in terms of tenderness. Um, when it's tender, we'll pull it on out of the oven. Okay, so next, while I have that uh, that oven in the acorn, yeah. now that I have the acorn squash in the oven, um, now I gotta chop some of these veggies. I'm just gonna chop up these onions for my caramelized onions. Chop away with those. No. Ah! And then I already had this kale um, de-veined from when I bought it, but I just need to chop it up a little bit more. Just do a rough chop with it. Um, Cause these guys are gonna be wilted into our pan. Um, but this will take me about two minutes. <laughs> Super easy. Okay, so now while we're waiting for that acorn squash to still roast in the oven, I still have some time, so I'm going to take this chopped onion, I'm gonna put it in the pan, I'm gonna caramelize those, let them get kind of loose and everything. Ow! Freaking thing. Yeah, it's gonna do that. Ah! Then I'm gonna add the ground turkey in there. I'll season it as I go, uh, just mixing all that around, waiting for it to brown. And then right at the end, we are going to add that kale um, into the whole mixture. It's so pretty. It is very pretty. Ooh, we getting green up in here. Making it rain with some kale. Just wanted to kind of reiterate why I'm making this vlog in particular. We are still in the six week reset. We are on week number three, and the challenge just came out that one of your meals each day needs to be home cooked or meal prepped. I've given you a lot of meal prep options, which are great, um, but if you have some time to cook and you like to cook, you know, getting creative with some recipes, I really encourage it with whatever you like. I've never made an acorn squash, so I have no idea how this is gonna turn out, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, but I had some time tonight and I bought it and I said, hey, why not, let's just try it tonight. So I encourage you to get creative and experiment with ingredients you've never tried before. And the worst that happens is that it's terrible. You throw it in the trash and you order Uber Eats. You know how it is, so let's try it. All right, so I'm gonna flip these things over. Ooh, they're so pretty. I'm gonna flip these babes over here. You see these little divots inside? That is what I'm going to stuff this mixture over in this pan into. Then we're going to sprinkle the top with some cheese. 
then we're gonna pop it back into the oven while the broiler is on. And we'll leave it in there for about five minutes. We'll keep an eye on it. I don't want it to stay in there too long. I don't wanna burn it, but we'll just brown the cheese on top and then we'll be ready to eat. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. It's beautiful. Oh my goodness. not beautiful I am so excited to dig in look dinner was really easy tonight um the longest part was roasting the acorn squash and I didn't even have to do anything I just had to leave it in there um pro tip don't do it with the baking rack like I did in the beginning take that out to let them steam because ours took a little bit longer it should only take about 25 to 30 minutes and that's, you know, free time for you to get everything else done seriously guys I know you're capable of making your own food go buy what you like and just go on pinterest if you love carrots type in easy healthy carrots recipe and i promise you you'll have everything you ever need if celery is your jam i guarantee you there's a celery recipe whatever that means but go find what you like make it easy pick the easiest one and then now you can then treat yourself to a nutritious and delicious meal made with love or something like that Go crush it, guys. We're going to hit week three of the nutrition challenge. You've got this. See y'all next time.